While you and me repeat This bittersweet heat Is suffocating I'm waiting And always hesitating Kryptonite desires Set my heart afire Heart on fire Set my heart afire channel this week I created this 1920s flapper girl look for you guys I hope you guys like it because I went through so much trouble to film everything and get all the costume and stuff so if you want to see how I created this look please keep watching all right guys I'm just gonna start off by doing my hair in this tutorial I'm just taking small sections and then I'm using my bumble and bumble holding spray and then I'm using my pro blow curl me set sectioning off all my hair and I'm twisting it down to the root taking off the section and then clamping it all down and I'm repeating this all the way around on the front sections of my hair. So I'm just using the rollers on the front portions of my hair and then the back sections I'm going to pin all up so you won't be able to see that anyways. I've done four rollers on the left, two rollers on the right hand side because I wanted to create a really nice side parting so that one side will have a nice sweep when I take it out later. So I'm going to prime my skin using the Tarte Clean Slate Primer. It's really, really nice and smooth. It fills out any pores and fine lines on the skin. And it makes your skin look so flawless in photos. The foundation I'll be using is the NARS All Day Luminous Foundation. I'm just putting a couple pumps on the back of my hand. This is a shade a bit lighter than my skin tone. It's in the shade Punjab. And I'm just dotting it all over my skin using my Damp Beauty Blender and blending it all out. Making sure you achieve flawless coverage, girl. So layer that up. Then I'm going to be taking my Pure Cosmetics Cameo Stick. This is in the shade Medium and I'm using the lighter shade. And then I'm going to put it all underneath my eyes. And this gives your skin such a nice flawless finish and it really brightens up underneath the eyes. I'm putting a bit on my chin, on my nose, forehead, anywhere you want it to be really nice and bright. <laughs> Taking my Damp Beauty Blender, I'm just using Tapping Motion so it blends out all this concealer underneath my eyes. And then I'm going to use my Photo Set Finish Powder from Smashbox. And I'm just using a little powder puff and I'm just setting this underneath my eyes. Make sure you avoid any creasing, guys, and set it really, really well so that it looks really flawless in photos. Make sure to set it around your mouth, around your nostrils, anywhere you get creasing. Next, I'm going to block out my brows. I'm going to use some eye makeup remover just to remove any foundation. And then I'm just wetting my bar of soap then I'm going to push it really really hard onto my eyebrows and then I'm just looking from side to side I'm just feeling if there's any spiky hair that's trying to come out and then I just go over with the soap again using some on my finger and I push down really really firmly and then looking from the side to make sure it looks good now I'm using the Creamy Radiant Concealer from NARS. This is in the shade Ginger and I'm just dotting it onto the brows and then I'm using my Damp Beauty Blender again to blend it all out to match my foundation. And then I'm going in with another layer. I'm trying to cover up as much of my eyebrow as possible. My eyebrows are tattooed so I have to use this orangey shade concealer to neutralise that blue undertone and then I'm just going to use my Creamy Radiant Concealer again and I'm just tapping it on, applying another layer and making it all blended out. I'm using my No Colour Powder from RTMA with a big powder puff and I'm applying on a really thick layer onto my eyebrows and then I'm just sweeping away the excess. Taking my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony and my Sigma E06 Angled Brush, I'm just taking a little bit out onto this really fine angled brush and I'm just doing small sections trying to get them as symmetrical as possible. This bit was probably the hardest bit of the whole tutorial to try to get the brows really nice and angular and to try to get a 1920s shape but without it looking too dated, you know? If you guys are doing this tutorial, guys, make sure you use a lot more soap than I did because I found throughout the tutorial that eyebrow hairs keep pigging out, man. I'm going to be using my new liquid lip suede from NYX. This is in the shade Alien. And it's a really nice dark black shade and I'm applying it all over my eyes. And then afterwards, I'm going to use my MAC 217 brush and then I'm going to slowly slowly blend it out giving myself a really nice base to create a really blackout eye. 
Make sure to follow my Snapchat guys for sneak peeks of all my looks. <laughs> I'm going to take this Bandwagon Eyeshadow from Makeup Geek as my blending transition shade with the Morphe 433 brush. Swirling it all over, it's such a good dupe for the 217 guys and so much more affordable. I'm blending this all over and I'm really buffing this out. Winging it all the way out guys and then also blending into my nose bridge. Using my favourite black eyeshadow from Anastasia Beverly Hills, this is in the shade Noir. And I'm putting this all over the eyes with another MAC 217 brush. This is just going to intensify the look and I'm slowly, slowly building up the colour. I want this to be really buffed over so I'm going back in between the Morphe 433 and the MAC 217. And making sure to interchange between black and the brown to get that soft transition. For Makeup Forever, I'm going to use this Aqua XL Eyeliner. This is in the shade M10 and I'm just using this on my bottom waterline. That same Noir eyeshadow, I'm going in with my 219 brush from MAC. This is a small pencil brush, but then I'm going to blend it out with my 217 again to get it a bit lower on the lash line. And then afterwards, I think I'm going to go in with the Bandwagon eyeshadow and a slightly bigger brush to make sure it's really buffed out. I'm going to do one more layer of the Alien Liquid Lip Suede all over my eyes so that it really sticks onto that black eyeshadow because I want it really, really intense just on the lid and just underneath the lash line. Using my Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerise, this shade is called Cleopatra, it's such a pretty shade. I'm just doing a little bit on my finger and this is going to give me that green base for when I put the glitter on top. I'm using this Martian Sparkler from Makeup Geek, it's such a pretty teal shade. Using a big fluffy brush, this one is from Iconic London, I'm just literally tapping it all over and then I'm going to use my Tartus double ended liner, this is in the liquid side and then I'm just lining along my lash line, I'm not going to wing this out because I want to keep it quite rounded. To brighten up the inner corners I'm using MAC Reflex Teal Glitter and I'm just literally tapping it on the inside with no glue, I just want it really nice and loose and sparkly. I'm just going to coat my natural lashes with this Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara in Waterproof. And then I'm going to use my Vegas Lashes from Lily Lashes. And these are really nice and spiky. So it makes my eyes look really nice and rounded, which is perfect for this look. I'm just going to bend the band so that it's really nice and flexible on the eyes. And you want to make sure until the right timing before you just place them on. Because then they'll stick and stay on all day. I love these lashes. Yes, honey. For my bottom lashes, I'm going to use these number one lashes from Morphe and they're really nice because they're so wispy and long so they go really well on the bottom and you just want to flip them upside down and then go from corner to corner and make sure you tap as well to make sure they're really secure. Now I'm just going to finish off the skin by using Taupe Blusher. This is from NYX Cosmetics and this is a perfect shade if you're really pale. It gives you such a nice definition and I'm contouring with it on my nose too. This is from Makeup Revolution, it's one of my favourite drugstore highlighters and I'm just using my Eco Tools Deluxe Fan Brush and I'm just applying it all over the high points of my skin and then I'm using Rockator Blusher from Benefit and I'm just dusting it all over the apples of my cheeks, giving it a really nice shine. Using that Alien Liquid Lip Suede again, I'm going to be applying this really carefully on my lips and I'm making my lips a little bit smaller and more curved. This will give it that really cool 1920s vibe. From NYX again, I'm going to be using the Cosmic Metal Lip Cream in Electromagnetic and I'm just applying this in the centre and then I'm going to use my finger to blot it out so it's kind of bleeding from the centre of the lips and then I'm going to apply a bit more of that Martian Glitter in the centre to make it pop. So now guys, I just have to take out my hair and these rollers have given me such a nice wave. Because I use the smaller ones, they'll give me a really nice texture for me to form these finger-like waves like they did in the 1920s. As you can see, it's given me such cool volume and a nice sweep. But guys, I'm not going to stop there. I'm going to pull in my sister and she's going to help me pin in my headband. This is just a choker and I'm just twisting it and turning it so it kind of looks more like a 1920s hairstyle. And that's the finished look, guys. Heart on fire Set my heart on fire I just finished this makeup tutorial my sister just helped me zhuzh up my hair and I stuck this little feather in if you guys follow me on snapchat you know the struggle of this <laughs> this headband is just a choker but I just pinned it into my hair and I just added some diamantes and glitter to my body and I'm just wearing a little corset thingy ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, I added some gloves I've also got a feather boa to spice things up with I've got little things like a fan and also what else have I got as a prop 
I've also got this, which is actually a chopstick. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend that this is a cigar. <laughs> If you guys liked how this video turned out, please give me a thumbs up. And I hope you guys recreate this look because it was quite a fun look to do. It's not too crazy. It looks quite complicated, but honestly it's not. It's just black eyeshadow, black lipstick, and then I just added blue glitter. But you can use the colour of your choice. So guys, you can leave the makeup like this. So it's nice and pretty and quite vampy. But I'm also going to add some blood right now. And I'm going to film um, my little outro with the blood and without the blood. So you guys can choose what one you prefer. Make sure you follow me on my social media platforms. It's just xtweely on Snapchat, Twitter and Instagram. I update on those platforms every single day. So instead of one video a week, you can see me every single day. Please let me know what you think of this tutorial and if there's anything else you want to see from me. And I'll see you guys next week Thursday. Bye guys. This glove has a freaking hole in it. Look. <laughs>